said this time and time again in previous audio commentaries, the professional wrestling industry can take a toll, not only on your body, but, it, but uh, on you mentally as well. And that's something that the competitors of the new season of Tough Enough have to take into consideration. They, I guarantee you one thing, uh, when this uh, show premieres on USA Network, none of the competitors will be the same after the season is over. And this season will give us a good indication if we will see a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth installment of the season. And uh, one of the points that I made here earlier in this commentary was, what are they going to do with NXT? Are they still going to keep it a feature on WWE.com, or will... Uh, the show fold now, be it that they have uh, Tough Enough back on air. You know, uh, that's a big question that I can't answer for you right now, but be it that it's on the internet right now, I really don't see much of a uh, future for NXT. I know NXT is still generating a significant amount of media attention uh, and um, stuff on ProWrestling.com, PW Insider, but how long will it last now that WWE have gone back to reality television? I have no idea given the fact that Season 4 of NXT is not really getting over all that well, I don't really see a future for NXT anytime soon. Um, but, um, you know, the big question here is, what is Tough Enough going to bring us? Uh, what kind of moments, what kind of athletes will be involved in the show? Um, it's it's going gonna, it's gonna to generate a lot of attention first off. Once the, you know, novelty of the program wears off, it probably won't. Um, but we've seen WWE attempt uh, reality television before on MTV. Um, you know, Tough Enough, I guess, had a mixed reaction from a lot of different people. But this new version of Tough Enough is going to be very interesting to see. I remember the million dollar Tough Enough when I had the chance to interview Daniel Pewter. And uh, there was a big controversy about uh, Tough Enough and how he won. A lot of people probably believe that Mike Mazanin uh, should have won the million dollar Tough Enough. But without question, Mike Mazanin, be it that he's a for, uh, WWE champion, former tag team champion, and Mr. Money in the Bank winner, and has had phenomenal moments in his career. No doubt that Mike Mazanin went on uh, to become a bigger star than Daniel Pewter ever was. And, um, you know, I often wonder how Daniel Pewter still feels about that to this day, be it that he won Tough Enough and, and Mike Mazanin was the runner-up. But, uh, you know, definitely, that's a, just a prime example of what kind of moments Tough Enough can provide us with. I mean, the Boogeyman, John Morrison, The Miz, Daniel Pewter, Jackie Gata, Linda Miles, uh, Maven Huffman, who I alluded to earlier in this program, those are the kinds of talents that Tough Enough have produced over the years. And in due time, we will uh, surely find out what kind of talents um, the new version, the new feel of Tough Enough is going to provide us with. And you can catch this, uh, Tough Enough this spring on USA Network for the first time. It's going to be interesting because really, USA Network only really uh, showcased Monday Night Raw for a number of years, along with a few odds and ends of WWE programming. So be it that this is the first time that USA Network... Uh, is going to be, you know, show uh, carrying tough enough. Uh, no doubt, uh, USA Network is going to have a lot of commercial uh, and advertising put into it. So it's going to be interesting to see what that kind of package uh, delivers on the part of USA Network. But you can catch Tough Enough premiering this spring on USA Network for the first time in nearly nine or ten years. And I wish WWE and all the competitors. Uh, all the best uh, embarking on this journey that they will never forget for the rest of their lives. Best of luck to all of you. Tough enough premiering this spring on USA Network. If you have any thoughts or opinions on anything that you have heard on HEW Entertainment Variety Radio over the past couple of weeks, you can feel free to drop me a line and let me know what's on your mind. I'd love to hear from you. How you do that? HEW Wrestling at Hotmail.com. Fire me off an email. Or you can send me a friend's request on MySpace. Now, how you do that is by going to MySpace.com backslash HEW Entertainment Radio and send me a friend's request. Be sure to download past archives of the show. How you do that is by signing up for our radio form. Once you've signed up, you'll get access to past archives of the radio program available in our radio form, including this one. Also, be sure to take part in our weekly poll. A weekly question is posted every week for you to weigh in on, and we tabulate the results for you. Once you've cast your vote, you can see how the results are uh, stabulated over the last uh, little while, and uh, definitely 
Uh, the weekly poll is a way for you to get involved and let your thoughts and opinions uh, be heard as it pertains to professional wrestling. A weekly poll is available uh, in our uh, on our website along with this radio program, so make sure you take part in that. A weekly column called In This Corner with Jonathan Clark is also available uh, in text format. All you do is click on the column tab at the top of the navigational bar on our website and you'll get uh, this week's column and archives of past columns that I've wrote and God knows they are interesting. Now, they've been around for several years. Also, our news center has thousands of news articles and items coming in on a frequent basis. How you get access to that, click on the headlines tab, enter the uh, headlines form and scroll down uh, to current and past news items. Also, HEW Wrestling Network is your number one source for a lot of wrestling videos uh, as it pertains to WWE and TNA, so make sure you check that out. And also be sure to check out the YouTube video of the day. It's presented by YouTube.com. It's where we post one piece of footage, whether it be in WWE or TNA, that we like to reflect back on. It's presented by YouTube.com, and it's in our YouTube section of the website, so make sure you check that out. Also, uh, be sure to check out our alumni section that uh, showcases a lot of the people that I've interviewed over the years. Your name may or may not be included there, but I promise you over time it will be if you've been interviewed and appeared here on the show. No matter if you have just appeared or you were interviewed, you are included in our alumni section. And also, we just recently posted archive results from 2009, 2010 as it pertains to our fantasy section so be sure to check that out as well that's a brand new feature so if you didn't get a chance to read any of the results from either 2009 or 2010 uh, they're available for you also uh, the next time we're going to be on here for HEW Entertainment Variety Radio when I once again weigh in on anything that might be going on in the world of professional wrestling or sports entertainment is going to be on April 9th we're going to be on April 9th and again on April 16th. Okay, April 9th and April 16th are the next two audio commentaries that are going to be available for download here on our official website. So make sure you check that out. Uh, April 9th and April 16th uh, will be available for download in the coming weeks. Uh, on that note, I guess that does it for our look at the premiere of Tough Enough this spring on USA Network. Be sure to keep up on all your wrestling updates on this website as we have constant updates coming in on a constant flow. And I'll be back again on April 9th uh, to weigh in on anything uh, with my thoughts and opinions as it pertains to the world of professional wrestling. Send me an email, hewwrestling at hotmail.com or send me a friend's request on MySpace, myspace.com backslash HEW Entertainment Radio. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to download this week's audio commentary. Be sure to check out this week's audio commentary and past editions of the show. No matter if it's an audio commentary or a past interview we've done, they're available in our radio form on the website. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for downloading this week's audio commentary and being a part once again of HEW Entertainment Radio. This has been show 645. The next edition of the show comes your way next week on April 9th, edition 646. We'll see you then. Oh, grown ups might look at him with fright, but children all love him so. He always says hello. Just who the hell are you again? And who died and made you God? And he's really glad to meet you. Glad to meet you? You should be all happy you get to meet me. Wherever he may go, he's kind to every living creature. I talk, you shut up and listen. It's as simple as that. Grown-ups don't understand why children love him the most. Wouldn't you just love for your children to grow up and turn out to be just like me? But kids all know that he loves them so. You're listening to Jonathan Clark exclusively on HEW Entertainment Radio. So, you think he likes you? You know what the most powerful force in the world is? You mean friendship? Friendship for sure. How about a million friends teaming up to do something? Disney's Friends for Change is about friends coming together to make big changes. Really big. We're talking monumental. The power of our friends and our determination to make a change is an amazing combination. 
So we're getting together with our friends to help make our planet a better place for all of us. Visit Disney.com slash Friends for Change to register to take the Friends for Change pledge. I, Selena. I, Demi. And I, Miley, promise to register and pledge. Reg and pledge. We promise to reg and pledge allegiance to the planet on which we stand. Once we've all pledged, you'll get a say in how Disney will spend a million dollars on projects to help the planet. Projects that save energy, save water, create less waste, and heal the earth. That's the power of Disney's Friends for Change. So come on, visit Disney.com slash Friends for Change to reg and pledge. We